Okay, thank you. So thank you very much. As, as you know, in most of these speeches so far, I try to speak and I would speak without any paper or any notes. But this moment, you might appreciate, is probably the highlight of my life, the highest point in my life now. Only one moment when I met my girlfriend may top it, you know, sorry guys, you know. There's some things that are more important in life. But indeed, this is not an award I'm receiving. I also know that. This is a huge trust, huge trust from all of you. There's a huge trust in the, in the messages that I, I hopefully shared with you in my campaign. And huge trust that I heard what you told me in this campaign. And thank you for that. And thank you, member states, who voted for me, who voted for my competitors, because I know that you chose me not for the lack of choice. And I really want to acknowledge my strong competitors, Dr. Chase Abli, who contributed a lot to ITU over the last, especially over the last eight years as director of sensation. Nisa Fortai herself from Samoa, who also worked hard in promoting the issues of the small island developing states and other in countries around the world. So I know that you chose, at least I take this mandate, to work with you, uh, you know, in a way we discussed in our campaign. Of course, I cannot miss to, uh, to congratulate uh, Madam, Madam Secretary General elect, Doreen Bowden Martin. It will be, I have to disclose, it will be the third time we work together. Well, actually, the third time she's my boss, let's be open. So, so, and I'm really looking forward to that. Of course, I want to acknowledge and thank the uh, Secretary General, Pauline Zhao, for his last, I think Christiana yesterday said, 36 years in ITU, for the lifetime of ITU. And we really miss him, and I hope we'll find some ways to still leverage his expertise. Of course, I would like to acknowledge efforts of Deputy Secretary, Secretary General Malcolm Johnson, it will be big shoes to fill, but I'm looking forward to do that. And, you know, also uh, Mario Manevich, director, who will, you know, I have to say, Mario, will have a very easy job tomorrow. They're the calmest of the old candidates, you know, and, and so you should be. So, and of course, I have to thank uh, Mr. Chairman uh, here of this conference, Ben, for really convening this conference so well, you know, and he prepared for that nearly for as long as I was running this campaign. You know. So. So really, you know, we chose and the host country with the great hospitality. But of course, it's also the moment to acknowledge the people who contributed to this campaign. It's also the moment to look back a little bit and to say, you know, thank you to some people who contributed. And I'm sorry if this list will seem for you long, but this list is like a very, very, very small tip of the iceberg. And these are only the people who really, really, in the personal efforts, contributed to that. So of course, I want to thank the president of my country Gidanas Noseda for the strong support and leadership in this campaign. It really felt that I had the whole country behind me. Also, Prime Minister Ingrid Shimonide, who you know, always continues to support it, and some of you may, uh, may have seen her call to vote last week. This campaign was spearheaded by Minister of Transport and Communications, Mario Squadis, who you over the last days, uh, I think, got to know pretty well, and who is very easy to spot in the room if you haven't. The tallest guy in the room will be the Minister of Lithuania. You know, I have to say that easily. Also, Deputy Minister Agne Vitsukevichute, who managed to make it a whole government effort. But we had a lot of further people. So this campaign engine was Communications Regulatory Authority of Lithuania. And her chairperson, Irata Shoviani, is here with us today. And we, of course, had Ministry of Foreign Affairs supporting us at the highest level. But, you know, as the person I want to specifically acknowledge is uh, Ambassador Andrew Scrivos, who from the days, from the very beginning, being Ambassador in Geneva to now being head of international organizations in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, you know, believed this idea and pushed that. As well as, you know, our ambassadors in New York, Rydis, uh, Ambassador in New York, Rydis Polauskas, and Ambassador in Geneva, uh, Darius Tanulis. One moment also, I'm very proud here to stand with, for in front of you, not only as Lithuanian candidate and our elect person, but also someone who had the full support of European family. And I really thank you from the bottom of my heart to all European colleagues who are really standing by me all the time and providing huge family backing. I always felt I could fall and you will catch me. 
you know, and also sometimes, and I need to do that because the speech will be for me for the records. So also some people who stood and believed from the day one, and you know, in Lithuania we have a member of parliament and big advocate of global Lithuanians, Dalia Stanovichuta, who from the first call said, well, let's do it. And then she actually get a lot of people believe it in idea. So last but not least, before my parents, which I also have to thank, is our campaign engine. And Doreen would be happy to hear that my engine of campaign was all women. So, so, and that's really was this strong leadership that, that made this campaign happen. So of course, all, a lot of you know Ingrid Mkavish in many roles, but you should also know she was the campaign from the beginning, and she manages this campaign all the time. And her, and her colleagues, Gintaro Rybinskin and Rosa Karolina, who stood by her side. But we also create great diplomats in Geneva, Vito Valunite, in Brussels, Christina Semene, in New York, Christina Litikaita, who ran this campaign as a joint up campaign as possible. And some of you may, if, if some of your embassies want to learn how to ensure the connection between Brussels for Europeans and Geneva and New York for everyone else, you can really learn from them. It was such a seamless campaign. And finally, in, uh, in the capital, Ignev uh, Rulovskaita and Gitarya Nushat. What they also, of course, I cannot, forget, I cannot forget of thanking my parents, who were always with me, you know, from the day one, believing in me and provided that support. You know, you always know that you can go far. If you know if you fall, you have a safety net. And they provided me for all my life and up till today here. So, ladies and gentlemen, tonight I have to be open. We will celebrate. Tonight we'll celebrate and I hope you will join us. And some of, some of you who joined us last night know that we know how to celebrate as a thing. So I hope you'll join us tonight as well. But tomorrow, the real work starts. And tomorrow, you know, of course, we'll have elections. And I want to wish good luck to all the candidates for director positions and uh, radio regulation board positions in the council. But we'll also, the conference, we have to remember, it feels like a highlight, but the conference is only beginning. And this conference is crucial of setting the ground for it you for the coming years. And we need to, this conference to succeed. We need to have a solid and sustainable financial basis for ITU for the next four years to come. We need to ensure that ITU is fit for the times operationally, that we can deliver to you, that we learn from the best managerial practices. And, we need, and I, I, I look to you to provide a strong direction for the ITU to help us all to respond to the challenges of today and opportunities of tomorrow. One last point, ladies and gentlemen. When I campaign, I said very clearly, I promise that if I, whatever I can, it will always be the place for everyone. Big or small, powerful or not powerful, rich or not that rich. Today I have to add, for those who voted for me and for those who don't vote for me as well, you know, for everyone. And I will be guarantor for that. Because in these tense times like we are, the only way we can find solutions is if we come together to look for them. And we do that with open hearts and open minds. So, ladies and gentlemen, your excellencies, let's work hard to bring the digital future for all. And most importantly, let's do that together. Thank you.